Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the present value of an annuity due using the formula. In our previous lessons, we looked at how to calculate the present value of an ordinary annuity, the future value of an ordinary annuity, the future value of an annuity due, and many more lessons on time value of money using the formulas. So you'll find the links to all those lessons in the description below. But what is the present value of an annuity due? Well, this is the calculation of the value today of a series of payments made at the beginning of specific periods. At the specific interest rate, you will be able to find out what this series of payments is equal to today. And when payments are made at the beginning of each period, the annuity is known as annuity due. Okay, so that is why it's called an annuity due because payments are made at the beginning of each period. And that's why I highlighted beginning over here. Okay, so for an annuity due, that is payments being made at the beginning of each period, cash flows are compounded for one additional period. Okay, so this is as opposed to the ordinary annuity where payments are made at the end of each period. And if you think about it, if payments are made at the beginning of each period, that means that that payment has got the capacity to earn interest from the beginning to the end. So if I make payments at the beginning of each period and you make payments at the end of each period, by the time the end of the period arrives, when you're making your payment, mine will have already earned interest for one, that one period before you start earning interest on yours because your payment will be made at the end of the year. Okay, so that is how you understand the difference between annuity due and ordinary annuity. And that is why with annuity due, if payments are made at the beginning of the period, then it's compounded for one additional period. So what is the formula for the present value of an annuity due? Well, here it is. Present value of an annuity due equals to PMT 1 minus the sum of 1 divided by 1 plus I to the power of N. Then you divide that entire sum by I and then you add one additional period of 1 plus I, okay? So without this additional period here, this one would have been the present value of an ordinary annuity. But by adding one more additional period, it becomes the present value of an annuity due. So what do these letters stand for? Well, PMT is the annuity payment made each period, okay? So if you are making the payment or you are receiving the payment, that is what PMT stands for, that actual amount. I is the interest rate, and it might be written as I in your formula or R. It will mean the same thing, the interest rate. N is the number of compounding periods. And we mentioned in our other lessons, and if you've checked them out before, you will note that we say that N is not necessarily the number of years. It's the number of compounding periods, depending on how many compoundings you have per year. Okay? If there is more than one compounding per year, you divide the interest rate you are given by the number of compounds per year to get the I that you will plug into your formula, okay? And you multiply the number of years by the number of compounds per year to get N, okay? And that is the N that you will plug into your formula. That is if there is more than one compounding per year. But if it's only compounded once, like compounded annually, your I will remain as the interest rate you are given and your N will be the number of years you are given. So let's take a look at a few examples here. This example was the same example we did when we looked at the present value of an ordinary annuity, but the only difference is that this one is where payments are made at the beginning of each year, okay? So here we're told that John wants to apply for a loan payable over a period of five years from a bank that charges 12% interest per annum, compounded annually. If he can only be able to pay back 10,000 rand per annum at the beginning of each year, what is the loan amount he will get, okay? So what are the two things we note here? We note that uh, we are looking for the present value because one, the loan amount he will get today. And we know that it's an annuity due because if he will be able to pay back 10,000 rand per annum at the beginning of each year, okay? So it's the beginning of each year. So that's an annuity due. So it is our formula again. Well, here's our formula. Present value of an annuity due equals to PMT. What is the PMT there? Well, that is the value we are given, the 10,000 rand. And then 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus i. What is i there? i will be the 12% we are given, but you put it in decimal form. So we're going to put it as 0 0.12. If you don't know how to get the decimal form, you just take 12 divided by 100. It's going to give you 0 0.12. And that is what you put in there. 
and then remember we don't divide it by the number of compoundings per year because it's only compounded once okay it's not compounded more than once per year we are told that it's compounded annually so it's only compounded once and then so it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power of the number of years okay so we reach the number of years which is five we are given there five years okay so we don't multiply it by anything again because it's only compounded once and then you divide that by 0 0.12 which is the interest rate you're given and then the one additional period it's 1 plus 0 0.12 and you should get your answer okay so what i like doing when i'm punching it into my calculator i start with my numerator over here okay so i get the answer for my numerator numerator and then i divide it by the i okay and then i multiply it by pmt and then i finally multiply it by the additional period okay so let's see how it looks present value of an annuity due equals to 10,000 rand times 1 minus the sum of 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power of 5. And then once you get that answer, you divide it by 0 0.12. And then once you get that answer, you multiply it by 10,000. And then you finally multiply it by the additional period. And you can see it's in red here, 1 plus 0 0.12 in brackets. Okay, now that we have punched everything into our calculator what is the answer the answer is 40,373.49 cents okay that is the present value of an annuity due quick note the present value of an annuity due will always be higher than the present value of an ordinary annuity okay because with an annuity due you're calculating it for one additional period okay so let's move on to our second example here we are told that John wants to make an investment that will pay him 2,000 rand at the beginning of every month for the next three years. If the investment offers an interest rate of 12% per annum compounded monthly, how much should he invest today? Again, we know that it's the present value because we are asked to compute how much he should invest today. And we know that it's an annuity due because it's occurring at the beginning of every month. So the beginning there is the keyword. So what is our formula again? There we go. Present value of an annuity due equals to the PMT. Well, it should be easy for you to note what is the PMT now. It's the 2000 rand that we are given. And then 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus i. What is the i there? Well, the i is not just 0 0.12. Why? Because it's compounded more than once per year. Okay. If we are told anything other than compounded annually, then we know it's compounded more than once per year because we are told that it's compounded monthly. Okay, so it's compounded 12 times per year. So what do we do? Like that note that I mentioned, if it's compounded more than once per year, you take the interest rate you're given, which is the 0 0.12, and then you divide it by the number of compoundings per year. Well, we are told that it's compounded monthly, and we have 12 months in one year, so we're going to take 0 0.12, divide by 12, and we put it as I. And then for the N, we have three years, but we know that it's compounded 12 times in one year, so it's three times 12 like we mentioned in that note. So it's three times 12 will be our N. And then our I here, our denominator, will also be 0 0.12 divided by the number of components per year. So it's going to be 0 0.12 divided by 12. And then once you've gotten that answer in this big bracket, you multiply it by PMT. And then once you've multiplied by PMT or the payment of 2000 rand, you will finally multiply it by the additional period of one plus 0 0.12 divided by 12, okay? Always make sure with your I, you divide it by the number of compoundings per year. Okay, and how will that look? Here we go. Present value of an annuity due equals to 2000 rand times 1 minus the sum of 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 12 to the power of 3 times 12. And then you divide that by 0 0.12 divided by 12. And then you multiply it by 2000 rand, and then you finally multiply it by the one additional period of 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 12. You know what answer does it give you? 60,817 rand, 16 cents. Okay. So you can look at this example. If you have not looked at the present value of an ordinary annuity, I would encourage you to look at that one then compare the two. And like I said, the answer with the annuity due will always be higher than with the ordinary annuity, okay? So you'll find the link in the description below or on your screen right now. And if you have gained value from this lesson, if you have learned something new, please consider subscribing to our channel, like this video, and share it to those who think it might help. Till next time, cheers.